picked up Cleveland and we picked up two surfboards. I'm very excited about the surfboards. Come on, bye, guys. We are seven hours in the future. You. We made it to Panama. Yeah, now we have like a five hour bus and then another two hour bus and then... Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't tell you that far yet. Yeah, we gotta go far. I finally ditched James. Here's Cleveland. What's up? On your man. We're back in Panama. And yeah. It's <laughs> Day number two. Is it? Yeah, it's probably like noon. We left last night at. I think it's like eight. four o'clock already. It's almost six. It's <laughs> What? It's like 5:30 p.m. Local time. Yeah. But we've been we've been traveling now for almost 24 hours. But we're almost done. Uh, we're all really excited. Oh, finally. <laughs> traveling with surfboards in this kind of uh, situation is not a good idea. Stopping by all of his friends' houses on the way, and the driver's like, hey, yeah. Got some stuff to drop off. He's like kind of like the courier and the and the bus driver. It's crazy. Let's go. Huh? Very, very long trip, but we finally met it to the boat, guys. We did it! I think it's been about 24 hours, actually more than that, because we got to the airport real early. Yeah, but, uh, yeah 24 hours, we're at, we're at the boat, and it's still floating. The dinghy's barely floating, but it's still floating. <laughs> oh, I, I forgot I broke it. That's Shit. true. We need to get a new piece of wood, or yeah. maybe I'll fiberglass it just for now. Cleveland, what do we got here? It's got our own little aquarium. This is how much water is in it from, I guess this is just salt and rainwater, but look at the little fish go. You see him running around? That's crazy. Do you wanna just pull it up and dump it? Yeah, that might be easier. Let's do that. I forgot. I have man help now. You got man oh, help. shut up. <laughs> I forgot how hot this place is. It's incredible. So this is how we left the boat. Lights on, I mean one at least. So it looks as if we would be home. We used my shirt as a curtain so that uh, nobody could look in and see that we're not home. We it like and yeah, it smells like boat a little more than usual. Like and everything was fine. Literally like I'm really glad about that. Or... So we just got here last night to Boca Chica and we're gonna pull up the anchor, set the sail. It looks like we're gonna be able to use a Jenniker and uh, we're super excited. So we're going, we're going to the Secos. There's like seashells growing on that shit, babe. Seconds, here we come! Woohoo! Going out that way, but there's a big rock right here I'm trying to avoid. And I know it's there because my buddy hit it. 
<laughs> with his bent toe and he had to wait for the tide to pick him up so he could go past it. He couldn't get off it. What I did was I followed my buddy out, the guys on that boat over there. And they've been here for 15 years, so I just have a tr I laid down a track and saved it. And now I'm just I can just follow that track every time, and I know it's good. That's, that's a perfect way to navigate is using someone else's no local knowledge and then just laying a track down so you can always get in and out. And you know if you've been there at low tide, you're you're not going to hit. so pretty to sail around. We've been here for four months. We've, we've gone like around the entire country, really. It's awesome, man. Panama is really a pretty place. Some of these islands are just sick. And on the other side, there's San Blas, which is like, you know, fantasy island for most people. Like sand and palm trees, no mangroves, no trees. It's just sand and palm trees, little islands. So if that starts happening a lot, we need to ease the sheets just a little bit. It's the it's the head sail that makes it really hard for the autopilot. It's trying to pull us that way. So even though we have real charts for this area, for the whole Panama, the Atlantic and Pacific side, um, it's kind of wicked to get out here to the Secas Island or getting out of Boca Chica in general. On the way here, we're almost. We almost killed ourselves because we almost hit the uh, power lines that were over the channel and our charts didn't say that. So we were asking around and some friends of ours took us out. We followed them with the boat so now we have the track, the actual track that we're following exactly. That's our old tracks sailing, taking out here. Boca Chica and the Sacred Islands. 
where we're going. I just wanted to make an update, but we got something on the hook right now. Miss Jenny! We got a fish! Where? There! Oh, yes. <laughs> oh my god, it's a, it's a dolphin! Oh yeah, it's a good one too! Hey, slow us down. Fall okay. off. Okay. 50 degrees. Okay, I got it. Oh wait, the gap. Ah shit, he's not fighting anymore. He's not fighting anymore? I hope the shark didn't get him. He's not fighting anymore at all, huh? Nope. Oh, he's still! He just gave up! He's still whole! Look at that guy! Oh, wow, it's gorgeous. Back to the update, uh, we just, we we behaved like greenhorns, like as if that would have been the first fish we caught. We're gonna, um, we're out of training, we're gonna work on it though. Yeah, well, so we're gonna have, we're gonna have uh, sushi for breakfast it seems. And yeah, life is good. I'm, I'm glad we're back. We're all glad we're back. Cleveland can't even believe he's here. He wants to go cruising too and this is like his kind of forte for him. So he gave up halfway through, and I thought he got eaten by a shark. He was just so easy to tug in, and then we get him next to the boat, and he's huge, and he just comes alive and starts like, no, you're not gonna take me! And I get him on the boat, and he's like going crazy. Yeah, I think we have the camera. That was not Look at a him. Good Look at that guy. Yeah. That's a big mahi. Is it a male or a female? Yeah, I think Some. it's a male. I think it's a male. Because he had a big sail. I, I don't think it's about to Beautiful, right? Oh my god, yes! <laughs> yeah, beautiful fish. That's the biggest mafia we've ever caught, man. We've been fishing with cedar parks for like three months now and not caught one not fish. More than not more three months. One. It's been like eight months. It's been eight since months. Mexico. It's been since months. Mexico. There that's we go. Like, that's like four or five thousand miles. That's it. Good luck finding the mooring! So I'm gonna show you how I butchered our mahi. We're gonna make sushi, so I've, uh, half of it I filleted. Those are the eggs. The eggs are super tasty. You can distinguish the mahi, the male, from the female with this, with the, with his head. The, the male is flatter and the female is a little more round here. So yeah, we're gonna try this. And the rest of the mahi I'm probably gonna cut in half so that it fits our in our barbecue. And the boys are putting the sail cover out right now that James made with his mother, Deborah. Thank you very much for helping us out. <laughs> cool. Beautiful here, huh? Yeah, we got some neighbors over there. They're still trying to anchor. It's kind of wicked here because it falls down so quickly and the only place you can really anchor is in this area where we are. Likely got a mooring ball. We're planning on having a bonfire right there on that beach. 
It was a good day. It was a lucky day today. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that looks great, man. Uh, there's like a storm coming in right now. We haven't noticed, but it looks pretty nasty. Perfect storm. Yeah, right? <laughs> so the storm is coming closer. Time. How do you make sushi? You just make some rice, and you're, a lot of people use sticky rice, but I don't. I just re use regular rice and put some cold water in at the end. And uh, little salt water. You gotta put a little nori. Nori is the seaweed, and then put this down, spread it out. It uses a lot of rice, which is good because it's a filling food, you know. And you cut like a cut like a big thin chunk off of it, like that, lay that in, maybe one more, that's how, that's about how much you get at the stores, but we can make our sushi like super crazy sushi, you know, yeah. and then, did you guys get any peppers, like, like, um, mm -hmm. bell peppers, no. no, oh my god, this stuff is like falling apart, dude, mahi, and you just roll it up. We really don't have anything to put we in there. We have anything else. But you know what? We don't need it. We just have we have a shitload of wasabi. We have pineapples. We've got jalapenos. Ah. And then you quickly put it on a plate and cut it. You can put cream cheese in it. You can put vegetables. I like I like a little tomato and some and some red pepper or something. And that's it. And then you dip it. You make a bowl full of uh, wasabi and and light soy sauce. Make sure you get this soy sauce. This Kikoman soy sauce. That's the best one. And bam! <laughs> 